स्टार्ट प्यारा दीज फोर अपील्स आर डायरेक्टेड अगेन्स्ट जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर डेटेड एलेवन टू टू थाउजंड एट पास्ट सेपरेटली इन ईच सूट द सूट्स आर फाइल्ड अगेन्स्ट फोर टेनांट्स बाय द सेम लैंड लॉर्ड्स फॉर पजेशन ऑफ द टेनांटेड प्रिमाइसेस ऑन कॉमन ग्राउंड दैट दोज आर रिक्वायर्ड रिजनेबली एंड बोनाफाइडली फॉर इमिडिएट पर्पज फॉर डिमोलिशन एंड इरेक्शन ऑफ न्यू प्रिमाइसेस इन इट्स प्लेस दज द लैंड लॉर्ड्स इन ऑल फोर केसेस आर कॉमन दो द टेनांट्स एंड देअर टेनांटेड प्रिमाइसेस आर डिफरंट बट द ग्राउंड्स ऑफ इविक्शन आर कॉमन इन ऑल सूट्स सिमिलरली ऑन गोइंग थ्रू देअर रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट्स फाइल्ड सेपरेटली इन ईच सूट इट अपियर्स दैट द ग्राउंड्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्शन टू रेसिस्ट द रिलीफ आर ऑल्सो आइडेंटिकल एंड कॉमन द एविडन्स लेड बाय द पार्टीज इज ऑल्सो अपियर्स टू बी कॉमन एक्सेप्ट द एविडन्स ऑफ टेनांट इन ईच केस इज सेपरेट एंड डिस्टिंक्ट फ्रॉम ईच अदर फर्दर द जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर इन फोर केसेस इज पास्ट on one and same date with similar reasoning considering all these similarities of the four suits the fact that grounds of eviction as well as defense of tenants in all the cases are common and identical therefore i proposed to decide these four appeals by common judgment parties to the proceedings are referred with their original status before trial court for sake of convenience particularly the plaintiff number 1 being builder developer is referred in his same capacity para the facts giving rise to the present four appeals can be summarized in short as under before adverting to the contentions of parties raised in their respective pleadings it it is useful to refer few undisputed facts revealed from record of the case and pleadings of the parties it is not in dispute that the city survey number 425 oblique b ad measures 223.2 square meter situated at शनिवार पेठ पुणे इज द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ द सूट धीस प्रिमाइसेस इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट्स वन पार्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू स्टोरीड बिल्डिंग एंड अनादर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री स्टोरीड बिल्डिंग द सेड प्रिमाइसेस वॉज ओरिजिनली ओन बाय श्री पुरुषोत्तम द प्लेटिफ नंबर वन इज बिल्डर and developer by profession initially mr vinayak has decided to develop the entire suit property and has got executed three different development agreements from the respective owners the development agreement executed with heirs of shri purushottam is dated 77 2004 that of plaintiff number 2 is dated 16 7 and that of heirs of janardan is dated 11 5 2006 not in dispute that all the defendants are tenants of the family the premises occupied by tenant is ad measures 292.94 square feet the premises occupied by tenant is ad measures 180 square feet each similarly the premises occupied by tenant is ad measure 65 square feet her premises is of shop premises and premises of other three tenant is residential premises it reveals from the record that while plaintiff number 1 was intending to develop 
the suit property he decided to give premises on ownership basis to the extent of premises in their possession at the same time it was agreed between them that in case if the tenant wants to purchase additional area in the new building that than that of occupied by them in old building in that case they are required to pay additional charges regarding the additional premises a joint meeting was held between all sitting tenants and plaintiff number 1 on 19 7 and on 28 11 the proposal put forth by the tenants in the meeting dated 19 7 was not agreeable to the builder developer therefore he made endorsement to that effect on said proposal consequently same could not be materialized however the second proposal put forth in the meeting dated 28 11 was accepted by the building developer and in response thereto the tenants have given their consent in notarized form on 5 1 enabling the builder developer to sort necessary sanction for demolition and reconstruction of the building on the suit property stock